Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Kuchelbauer term vise. So this is beer two in our advent calendar, brewer's advent calendar pack from Costco. Um, this, I'm gonna assume this is a Weiss beer, just because- It says Weiss on it. It says Weiss on it. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about this beer. As we know uh, from the first video that we did, the app will tell us everything we need to know uh, about said beers. Yeah, so the, so the app that, that um, comes with the box, I guess, uh, it says that this term Vice is bright bronze with a reddish glow and a lush white head. Fruity aromas of apricot and tangerine combined with soft cereal notes develop a pleasant aromatic fragrance. Tangy on the nose, soft fullness. I mean, as far as the um, appearance goes, I would agree 100% with that. It looks like apricots. But I don't would, I guess, uh, yeah, I would, guess so. would look. Can is, I don't even know what this is. This this art is, uh, I'm not sure. But you can tell on the can that it's just a sticker over the can. Sandra brought up a good point. She thinks maybe each of these beers is brewed specifically for this pack, right? Every year, would they would yeah. brew a beer and that would be the recipe that goes to this pack exclusively. And that's how people get this beer. I don't know, maybe they make it for the breweries too. I'm not in Germany, couldn't say, but that's that's what we so far are under the impression. I think so. This, this is, is an, artwork by. No, I think it's a, an actual building because oh, architect, it's architect Peter Peter, Pelican. Peter Pelican. Don't hmm. know who that is, but he's in. I'm gonna guess Germany. I don't know copyright. So I mean, maybe he did the artwork for this yeah. can or something. Like that. I don't know. Anyway, five point nine percent malt, wheat, barley, hops. So let's take a nose. Yeah, you got Lots like apricots. Of, yeah, apricots. And fruit and plum, maybe? Getting a lot of citrus there, so, but like a sweet, soft citrus, that, like that tangerine, like they said. Yeah, there's like a little sparkle of, of like citrus fruit in there. That's nice. That's a really good aroma. Yeah, it's definitely different from your typical um, Hefeweizen. Yeah, no, uh, Hefeweizens historically are more banana forward right. in the aroma, and th this is more, more of like a, sweet apricot, sweet fruit yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Mm, curious. Mm. Yeah, well, let's go. What the hell, what the hell is that? What happened to the beer? Not sure. <laughs> yeah, there's no beer in this beer. It's, uh, <laughs> it's almost like, um, how do I describe this? There's no body in this beer, is what it is. There's flavor, but we get a lot on the nose, and then when you take that first sip, nothing happens. Nothing happens. It completely dissipates. It's almost as if, like, have you ever drank anything that has no aftertaste? Like water? <laughs> <laughs> like flavored water, like like carbonated water, but like less of an aftertaste. Yes. That's almost what I'm getting. That's exactly what I'm getting yeah. to. Yeah. But it has a good taste. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the thing. That's weird. It's like they, it's like they tried, but like got halfway there almost. <laughs> That's a peculiar beer. That's probably mm -hmm. one of the weirdest beers I've had in a while, just because it has no, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a beer. It feels like sparkling water, like. With wheat in it? <laughs> yeah, like low flavored wheat sparkling water yeah. or something, <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know, I don't think I can recommend this per se. I don't think I would like seek this out or anything. No. Cool to try, I guess, but I mean, that's a that's a, a two fails for two out of out of the box for us right now, and that's not a good way to start. No, we still have quite a bit more to drink. You got a lot of beer to drink after <laughs> this. <laughs> this is the thing, the expectation for me, because I love German beers a lot. Yeah. So the expectation for me was the bar was high. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I get beers from Germany and Austria that are that I can't get here. And they've they're gonna be amazing. I could literally go down to Wegmans right now and for $9 get a six pack of some import German beer and it would be amazing. Yeah. I would know exactly what to expect. It would be, you know, Ryan Heiskabot adherence. It would be four ingredients and it would be amazing. And it would satisfy that germ. But here I'm paying 60 bucks for 20, 28 beers. 24. 
24 beers and two of them already have been, I would say lackluster. Yeah. And that's the best case scenario. So, I don't know. Not off to a great start. It's a little rocky. All right, well that does it from us guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, hit the like and subscribe buttons and until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.